So this is the Cruise RS Carbon Fiber Wicker Wicker Bill for a Cruise Hatch with the RS package. I got it in carbon fiber. It's from Cruise Culture. Let's get this thing unwrapped and take a look at it. What's up guys, it's Grant from Genie Motorsports and today we are going to be doing a Wicker Bill install on the Cruise. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take this back hatch. Now this is an RS model. We're gonna take this and you'll just give us a nice little pull. You hear it click just like so. So we gotta get the spoiler off. Just like that. It'll bend right in the middle. You'll see. And that exposes the screws. So let's get those out. So what I'm currently gonna do is be taking off these 10 millimeter bolts here and here. So one, two, three, four. So you can take this whole plastic trim off. You just take these pieces out and take the screws out here. But I'm gonna avoid trying to do that first just to see if it's, you know, to skip a step. But if not, if I do have an issue, I'll end up taking these off. Anyways, the next step, we're gonna be taking the bolts out that are, so you can see here. So here, here, there should be a bolt under there, here and there. All right, so it is out. I'm gonna teach you the tricks. So there's a little piece here. Kind of got to pull this down. You see this is pulls up, pull it down and pull out. Then you'll get the clips and pinch them in here. That's what I had to do there was, so you can see, pinch that and pinch that to get them out. These just stick in so you can see this is incredibly dirty, but I've also, don't mind my crappy tent job. I did that when I had the spoiler on. So this is a common issue with these is they break. So I'm gonna take this out and I'm gonna glue this together so I don't have this issue because the only way to replace, it's not the light that goes bad, it's the spoiler itself that breaks off and I don't wanna replace the whole thing. So we're gonna do that. I'm gonna glue that, get that clean. Then we'll go on to our next step. So I got this all solid, now it's glued on. Didn't do anything special, just glued it, just for you guys that have the same issue. All right, so I went ahead and measured the spoiler. It's 43 inches. So the center line for the RS is gonna be exactly at 21 and three quarters. So then I went and found the brake light, which is 13 inches. Took that, which in half is seven and a half. So I followed it down. I'm sorry, six and a half. So I followed that down to here. This is my center point. So right here at 21 and three quarters. Followed it down, taped right at this line right here because that's where the spoiler is going to sit. Went ahead and taped the rest of the spoiler up so I can mark it, drill it, put it on. We'll go from there. All right, after waiting on Amazon to come in with my rib nut tool, we are finally gonna drill. These, I use this line here as my marking line. So my spacing from here and here are identical. Same with the other dots. So I know that I'm in the middle. So we're gonna start drilling. The last drill bit you need, I believe is gonna be that 25th, 64th right there. So that's going to be our last bit. I'm just going to go through various sizes of the bits, go through, significantly get bigger till I'm ready to start, ready to stop. So let's get this started. All right, the scariest part is done, I guess, the, the drilling. I guess. Nothing went through, so that's a plus. It's dirty, I'm sorry, I didn't clean this. But that's always a, a big plus. I was scared of that happening. But my holes are done, and I mean, just a little touch up like. I've got one in, and then I'll put the others in. They just go in, and then we'll use the riveter. <laughs> Uh, rivet them and we'll go from there. 
So I put the pop rivets in. They just screw on to your um, rivet nut gun. And then you put it in, you just click it and do each one. And then you just screw in your hardware. Now I have the smoked center. So it's on, it's in there. Time to put it back on the car. All right, so I just put it back on. I didn't put it anywhere. I mean, there you can see how this is. It came with a little black spacer, which I'm guessing was supposed to go there. But since everything's custom drilling, for it didn't work for my application, I'm sure I could take it off and put it back on. So we'll go from there. All right, putting it back on. Remember, we got a bolt here, 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 here. And then the two sides, those are all 10 millimeters. We're going to reconnect everything. So that's good. And Good there, and good there. Then I didn't end up needing to take these panels off, so don't worry about that, but there are three seven millimeter screws to take off, so I just gotta put those back in, and then we should be done. So the bit I used for this is a quarter 20, and then I started here at a 332nd, then I jumped up two to a 964th, then two to 1164th, seven thirty seconds then to a quarter and then i did each one of the top ones so see but you're ultimately going to finish with a 25th 64th and right before that's going to be a 3 8 so that's going to be your finishing bit all right i know the car is dirty as you can tell but i have since i'm when i made this install video i've gotten my tent redone so it looks much better. I have moved from the state of Florida and this sitting out in the sun all the day long to back to home. So as you can see, this thing has been driven probably two, 3,000 miles with this on now. Still looking great. Still love the way it looks on the car. Still holding up fantastically. But when I first bought this, I was like, oh, this is gonna be a great install for the channel. But since then, Cruise Culture has released that they are closing on August. So it is sad that I'm like, oh man, I spent all this money and time to make this great install video, which don't get me wrong, I love doing this to helping out everybody in the car world. But it is sad that for people seeing this video, unfortunately you're not gonna be able to, to get this part for your car unless cruise culture sells off their designs to somebody or somebody mimics them makes them again but it is a great over part to the car anyways thanks for watching this install on the cruise culture wicker bill for the chevy cruise rs hatch i am grant this is genie motorsports come for the install stay for the vlogs bye guys